Horse racing in Limerick can be traced back to 1790, but it's only been since October 2001 that it's been staged here at Greenmount Park. Nevertheless, some big guns have already graced the track. And the final flight, Weapons Amnesty and Robert Power over from Prince Rooney. Drawing away is Weapons Amnesty. So Deschamps has little trouble in the end of making it two out of two of offences. We're here on Munster National Day, but Limerick is not just a national hunt track. It's dual purpose, and like most race courses, it has its own idiosyncrasies. For instance, down the back straight here is a 20 meter rise from this point to this one. But of course, where there's an incline, there's going to be a decline. And at Limerick, that comes into the home straight. So jockeys will gain momentum as they swing off the final bend, but they have to keep enough in reserve for the final climb to the line. Limerick stages both flat and national hunt racing, with the track hosting a series of feature meetings. Yeah, well today, Matt, uh, Ladbrokes Munster National is probably our single biggest day of the year, and uh, it's a two grade threes, the Munster National itself, and a ladies' day, so it's a massive day for us. We'll probably pull in about seven and a half, eight thousand people today, so it's a uh, super day, and the weather for once is very, very kind to us in October. And then we have uh, the 40th Festival of Christmas, which is, you know, 40,000 people, biggest festival in the Midwest region, and uh, you know, it's a great festival for us. It's a great two uh, chase in the first day. Last year's winner, Sir Deschamps, you know, pre the Gold Cup favourite this year, going in 2013. So, another very good day for us, four days. And uh, yeah, then we've got the uh, student race day in the summer, and sorry, sorry, April. Uh, last year, with 12,500 students uh, came in and took over the race course for a night and, and probably the next day as well, the time we, we got them all out of there. So, uh, yeah, we sort of them three days, and then we've, you know, we've racing all through spring, the summertime, toilet races in the summer, June, July, and uh, they're great fun, you know, live music afterwards and racing and, you know, a lot of, we've a lot of students coming back from the race day, the student race day back into the uh, toilet races. So it's, look, it's, it's a big old 12 months year, around the year here, so it's, it's good fun. The changes in gradient and the stiff fences make Limerick a tough test for both horse and rider. Val O'Connell is the man responsible for maintaining ground conditions at the course. Basically with Limerick it's a very wide track, we've got uh, nearly 100 metres of width and track, we've also got an inside track to be used for hurls and that. doesn't create a major problem here because we've got the width of the track and we can also move the fences into different positions so it doesn't create any major problems here. We normally give six yards of fresh ground every time we race. Uh, the chase track today is, is in a little bit from where we'll need it for Christmas. All the fences will be moved back out for Christmas onto fresh ground and I've got four strips of fresh ground in the background for our meeting for Christmas, for our four day meeting at Christmas. So with the, with the width of the track it doesn't create any major problems here. We're normally able to produce fresh ground every time we race. It's the newest track in Ireland in I don't know how many years and it's really come on in leaps and bounds in the past five years this track has really developed into a, it's probably a grade one track eventually. Ruby Welsh made a statement to me one day, he said, it's the best track to set off with a, a novice chaser. You have four fences up the back in a line, most inviting place you could come. What kind of horse do you need here? You need a staying horse, people thought it was an easy track, but if you go walk down the track a furlong and a half and look up, you can hardly see the winning post. So it is a stairs track. It's a good track now, um, it took time to bed down initially when they opened it, but there's a great sod in it now. Um, it's a, I love riding here when it's soft. Uh, Val O'Connell's done a great job he, he, with the hurdles, where he positions them now. It's a fair track. It's a great place to start a novice. The two, three races, especially, you start in the corner at the bottom of the back straight, and you have a line of five fences in front of you to jump. Um, in the summertime, you really have to jump to win around here, over fences, especially. Those fences up the back do, do take a bit of jumping. If you're riding a good jumper, you can get into the race from, if you drop in by jumping. If you don't jump, it's not really a place to be. In the 221 years following the establishment of racing at Limerick, seven different venues have staged various forms of horse racing, and one man nearly old enough to have remembered all seven tracks is a training relic, a legend, Jimmy Mangan. Jimmy, you'll remember Limerick before it came the racetrack it is now. Tell us about the old days. Well, I, I remember riding here, I think, for one of the coldest days I think I ever rode in, in a race. And uh, Ted Welch won it, I think, the same day, the lightweight, on Attitude Adjuster. I rode a horse called Neville's Delight for Ned Barrett back in Copeen and Cock. But I remember I could hardly hold the reins, it was so cold, and it was unreal. But what a point of point, the best 
of hostage used to come down here. You know, it was owned by Hugh McMahon, and uh, Hugh was a great sportsman, and uh, he owned all this place until right up to he nearly died, I'd say. And um, his daughter Annette took it over then. But uh, this was the place. If you were taught you had a good house coming down here, you wouldn't be long find the out, you know. Jim Cullity doesn't hold such fond memories of Limerick after taking this fall from Barrow Drive in the Munster National back in 2004. I say one of the worst falls of my career. I got uh, made a bad mistake at the second last. Probably would have won. Um, and the horse's came up, head came up and hit me in my rather large nose. And it was the only time in my career I broke my nose, but knocked me out when I was still on the horse's back and rolled off like a sack of potatoes. I got some proper fall. But in general, a track where the best horse has every chance to win. Yeah, I like mean, it's a fair track. Um, it's a lovely track to ride, actually, because you can give a horse a chance and if they jump, they can jump their way into the race, you know what I mean? Seamus, why do you like sponsoring here at Limerick? Well, I think, Matt, I suppose Galway has the plate, Ferry House has the Grand National, and we've probably got the oldest and most important race in Munster. So I think our company are thrilled to be associated, and we have been. I think this is our fifth year, and uh, going forward, I know that we've committed to Russell and his team here at Limerick Racecourse. They're a vibrant organisation. They do something different. There's a huge crowd from Limerick coming out here today. From the point of view of sponsorship, uh, racing is such an important commercial component of our lives here in the Midwest particularly and right throughout the country as well and for you guys coming across channel it shows how important it is as well it's not just the horses that attract big crowds to Limerick events such as the annual fashion show and best dressed lady competition have both males and females alike flocking to Greenmount Park yeah, I'm delighted to become third. I got a vouch for Isabel Boutique in a day or so. Um, I can't wait to start spending this anyway. It's great. Kelly, you a second? Yeah, no, I'm absolutely delighted. To be honest, this is actually my first race meeting, so to be placed is wonderful. I'm delighted. And tell us, outside of the Best Dressed Lady, have you enjoyed the day? Yeah, it's lovely. I think it's a great thing to come out and do on a Sunday. You know, you get to meet people and chat and everything like that. So I've really enjoyed the day. You've also got to meet Gillian, who is our winner. Well done, Gillian. Thank what you. a great day for you. Absolutely fantastic. I didn't expect it all. We are mad racing fans. My son and my husband, we, we watch go racing all the time. We love it. They're downstairs at the moment. Don't even know we have won a prize yet till I go down there and tell them. So yeah, we've enjoyed today tremendously and this just topped it off. Not only are you best dressed lady, but you also love your horse racing. We do indeed. So it works both ways. The girls love the fashion, the guys love the racing. So we're complimentary to each other. The 2012 Munster National attracted a field of 14 runners. And after three miles on Limerick's heavy ground, it was Raz de Marie who would come out on top for jockey Brian Cooper and trainer Desi Hughes. Far side, Raz de Marie's in front, the near side questions answered. Quietly fancies not out of it, but Raz de Marie is picking up as they go up towards the line of the Ladbrokes Monster National. He was under pressure some time ago. He's stretching clear now for Brian Cooper. Raz de Marie's going to win it back in second. Very tight for a second between quietly fancied, possibly just for questions answered. You win your Munster National, what was that like? Great, great. I'm my first winner for the boss, I don't know why, so I'm delighted. It's been since September. September. He's very tough, he stays. And, you know, I knew he had a good chance coming into this, just his form up to was a bit in and out, but he, he was always a very good, tough sort, and I knew he'd run a cracker. What about the track? It's a sort of real grinding day. It is, it takes a lot of jumping, and it's testing work. You know, you need a horse that stays and jumps, and he proved that there today. You enjoyed it? Great, great experience. <laughs> It was a cracking experience for Brian Cooper and all concerned with Raz de Marie. If you too would like to enjoy your very own great day at Limerick Racecourse, log on to the website, all the W's, limerickraces.ie.